Christ in you, the hope of glory. Sin is a horrible experience. Sin not only made it necessary for Jesus to come to this world and die for us, but sin has robbed us of the glory of God. The good news is what the Apostle Paul writes in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory. So what kind of a life can we expect to live on this earth now that we're experiencing the three blessings of justification by faith and then the specific order in which God has ordained for us to experience them? Let me read it to you in verses 3, 4, and 5 of Romans 5. Part of our scripture reading this morning. Verse 3. And not only this, but we also exult in our tribulations, knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance. Verse 4. And perseverance, proven, there you have it, character. And proven character, hope. Verse 5. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to each one of us. The thought that I have shared with you this morning from Scripture was actually born in my mind from a chapter in Desire of Ages, chapter 34. The title of the chapter is The Invitation. The Invitation. It is a personal invitation from Jesus to you. So I want to close my remarks this morning by quoting to you, word for word, the first three sentences of the very last paragraph of chapter 34, the invitation. Here's the first sentence. As through Jesus we enter into rest, heaven begins here. What's the first word I ask you to remember? Now. now. Heaven begins here and now. Or oh, we're not taken up there. Second sentence. We respond to his invitation. Come, learn of me. And in thus coming, we begin the life eternal. Where does heaven begin? Now. Where does the life eternal begin? Now. Forever. Continuously. The second word I ask you. Third sentence, heaven is a ceaseless approach to God through Christ. What's the third word I ask you to remember? Ultimately. Ultimately. But those three blessings, in that specific order, must be experienced here, or we're never going up there. It is crucial that we understand the significance of these three blessings and the specific order in which God has ordained for us to experience. And it is my prayer that each of you will experience these three blessings as you choose to abide in Christ. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I invite you to stand and sing verse, uh, hymn number 522, our closing hymn. 522. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness.
us as we leave this house of worship. Be with us through the remaining hours of this waking of this day, that we will be focused on what we have learned and the incredible anticipation of experiencing your peace, your strength, and your glory Amen. as we choose to abide in Christ during the waking moments of this day. We thank you for answering these requests because we ask them in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.